As you got older, what is something difficult you had to accept about dating and relationships? If you ever want to be loved, you have to leave yourself open to being hurt. Learned that one fairly early on. I could keep pushing them away, being a bit of a cow where I could let them in. The trash took itself out, I did okay. You can love somebody but still have to break up with them. There are a lot of reasons that relationships don't want work out. And if you accept them because love will conquer all, you may be sacrificing your happiness in many other ways. People don't reveal their true colors until it's too late to leave without damage and trauma. I'm in my early 30s. Most important thing for a healthy relationship is the time for self with some space. That there isn't someone for everybody. Some fish in the sea are meant to swim alone, and that's okay. Harsh reality I've just now been able to accept. In my case if I spend a lot of time with someone I will always 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 be annoyed with them from time to time. For me, getting on my nerves sometimes is not a great reason to end a relationship. It literally always happens. The problem is me, not them. Truly understand yourself and your behaviors before trying to understand and take care of someone else. No matter how you feel you can't control a person. If you have to convince yourself to stay in a relationship, it's time to get out of that relationship. Not every connection will last forever, no matter how deeply you invest in it. While we often enter relationships with high hopes and expectations, life is unpredictable and people change. Accepting this inherent uncertainty and focusing on personal growth and self-love will help navigating the complexities of dating and relationships. That once you hit late 20s, a lot of people have at least one kid. So you kinda have to think about if you date somebody with a kid already. Or at least that's what my friends both men and women are finding. It's not a bad thing exactly but can be difficult if you don't want kids, but a lot of people in the dating pool have them. You will never get out of an abusive relationship if you don't realize your self-worth. The abusive people I dated were my choice and I taught them how I accepted being treated. Praise the fucking lord I learned how to say no and demand respect. Love takes work and is a decision you make every day. You wake up and have to choose your person every day. Remembering that every day is step in a lifetime, and that it is worth the effort it takes to build a loving, long-term relationship. People want change for you, a lot of broken promises. If someone's not meeting your needs, don't waste any more time in that relationship. Relationships errand a video game where feats bring you closer together. What you're willing to sacrifice will not match what you'll receive. Most important part about it isn't love like how pop culture portrays it. It's respect. That you'll never find one. Despite what my family tells me, I do not need someone in my life to make it great. In fact, the most miserable I've been was when I was actively looking for a partner or a few weeks into a relationship when the honeymoon phase ends. As I am unwilling to make any kind of compromise for another's happiness, I have made the executive decision to get out of the pool. I've been happy with the results so far. If you're the one that is always compromising, isn't the one always starting fights, and is the one who has to reconcile after every fight then maybe that relationship isn't healthy. The older you get, the more screwed up your options are. If you are in your 50s you are going to be dating people who have been divorced maybe multiple times or widowed and have significant damage from that. Or worse those who were so fucked up to start with they never maintained a steady relationship in their life, which is why they are still on the market. Although to be fair, this may start as young as 40. Cheating is a choice. People can't give you what they can't give themselves. I'm not the cat that I think I am.